Mayun and Anna are paying for their canoe trip in an unusual way, with rubbish. Today is World Cleanup Day, and here in Copenhagen they're collecting rubbish. The firm renting out the canoes is one of over a hundred companies supporting the cleanup effort. The campaign was started by Anna and Mayun. Their organization, Plastic Change, fights against plastic waste in Denmark and around the world. We're uh, producing and using way too much of it. It's very uh, single-use plastic, uh, low-grade, that can't be used for anything. It's basically uh, waste the moment it has been designed, and then it contains a lot of toxic chemicals and additives uh, that are you know, pollutants that are dangerous for you know, nature, environment, and also for humans. That's a total of 93 kilos of waste just here, and most of it plastic. Plastic that's now no longer polluting the soil or water. By itself, collecting litter can't overcome the plastic problem. But campaigns like this are still worthwhile, says Anna. Create that bottom-up awareness and you have people working on this, they suddenly start to question, what is this actually? What is this product? Why do we have so much plastic out here? And then so we have to, you know, work from the bottom up, I think, to make, you know, the um, retailers and industry and the brands, you know, redesign their products. Mayun records all the litter that she and Anna find. She's using an app called Litterati. She enters the name of the company that produced each item, Coca-Cola or Carlsberg, for example. No manufacturer wants to be linked with a litter problem. But that's exactly what this app does. These brand audits are a valuable way to push for change. That's why um, brand audits, that's a really good way because, you know, you can see what is out there. We're finding your packaging on the street and then we can go to the brands and we can say, look, we found all your packaging out there. What are you going to do about it? Putting pressure on manufacturers is one way to make a difference. Another is to help manufacturers become more environmentally friendly. Plastic Change has convinced Denmark's biggest brewery to use reusable cups for beer at festivals. One simple move that has saved two million plastic cups. And it's an image boost for the brewery. We do several things to sort of screen ourselves from being you know, blamed for, for greenwashing. So one thing is we have uh, what we call um, the red lines, and that's sort of a, like a charter that we ask uh, bigger brands to sign. Anna and Mayun from Plastic Change are fighting plastic on three fronts, in public, in industry, and in politics. That should stop one side blaming the others, they say. For real change, everyone has to play their part. My wish for the future is that you know, we you know, understand that we have to live within the boundaries of you know, the planet. And obviously, I don't think it's gonna happen without some kind of you know, really uh, hardcore political awakening. We only have so much time um, available, so I mean, we really have to like do something now. Um, yeah, but I definitely see that, you know, getting that awareness of, you know, we live here because of the planet is giving us all these things that we can use, but we're using too much of it.